Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome to Back to the Long Dark, where they just came out with the Errant Pilgrim Survival Mode update, and they created a brand new map area called Bleak Inlet, and in that area, there is a crafting station, there is a workshop where you can make your own ammunition. So you can actually, well, you can take the old casings from the ammunition that you have if you collect them, and you can make gunpowder, and you can, you can take lead from car batteries and melt those down, melt that up, and you can make bullets. So I don't know if it's just rifle cartridges or if it's pistol. I think it's both. So anyway, guys, I'm really super excited about this, but there is a trick to unlock the, unlocking that workshop, and I'm going to show you today how to unlock that workshop. So it's a little bit lengthier uh, how-to than I normally do, but I'm I'm excited about this because I just it took me about two or three hours to figure it out, but I think we're good. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to resume. We're actually starting at, 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 actually, you know what? Here we go. We go Pilgrim. We're actually going to start at Mystery Lake, guys. This is where you have to start, okay? So we're going. I'm, I'm going to go Pilgrim, and I'm going to go resume my last one because I already had myself set up. I went and gathered some materials, so I didn't. Ha and I, I didn't want to waste your time on that. Obviously, if you're going on this journey, you're going to have some. You're going to be outfitted with some stuff. We're at the Hydro Carter Dam. We're going to actually head this way, and we need to actually go to the ravine. So we're going to go. This way through past the Hydro Carter, Carter Dam, and we're going to go into the ravine, and hopefully, we're going to leave Mystery Lake. Hopefully, we have a, a, a rope waiting for us over here. So, at, from Raven Falls a Railway Line, when you come out of Mystery Lake, you're going to want to go to the hangar right. You're going to want to curve around this rock face to the right, guys. It's early in the day, too, so it should be fairly easy for me to do here. The problem with the workshop, if you spawn in, in the bleak inlet itself, is that the workshop has a code. You have to get the code to open the door. And to do that, you actually have to go up top to the radio tower. And that's where the code is. So we're going to go to get the code first before we go and unlock the workshop. Because the workshop is filled with wolves. And so if you're, if you're actually trying to do the challenge, you have to be here before you go there. Because those wolves will tear you up. There's about six or seven wolves right there in the, in the cannery itself. I won't have to worry about it in, under Pilgrim, but, you know, something you got to think about before you start doing this. Okay, so we're going dead ahead. And actually, you know what? No, I'm not. We're going to go to the left right here and go to the boxcar. And we're going to see if the rope is here. There it should be a climbing rope. There's a chance for it to spawn. So if, hopefully it spawns for me. It usually spawns here on the back side of these, or inside here. I don't know if it's a hundred percent chance. What's this? I think oh, I'll take the work gloves. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll put those on right now. It would be nice if you could layer your gloves. Yeah, I don't care about that scrap. Drop down here. Okay, the rope's not here. Okay, guys, I actually went ahead and restarted the game a couple times. Finally got the. Um, the mountaineering rope. So we're gonna grab grab that, and I don't know what else we've got in here. I think I can take use that this. Tote, uh, tube, and I have a canteen. I mean, I have a I have a lantern. So, all right. So now we can go ahead and we can head over. And we can use the mountaineering rope to get down, and then if we have to, we can use it to get back up. I'm hoping. I don't know for sure, but I'm hoping for a way down from the tower from the radio tower but I don't know I haven't tried yet so we're gonna try that but if we can't we'll have to come back and I want to be able to climb back up if we can so make sure you have a mountaineering rope when you do this because otherwise you might get stuck like Chuck All right, now that we're at the rock, we'll deploy the mountaineering rope. We'll go ahead and climb on down.
You also want to be not tired when you do this because it's going to make you super tired, even though you're going down. But if you've played this game, you know what I'm doing anyway, so I don't even know why I'm telling you this. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. All right, my dude has a little bit of, he's a little tired. That's okay, we're just gonna go ahead and won't, I, there's no climbing involved what I'm doing, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep uh, heading out. So we're gonna go down this ravine and it's just gonna keep, just keep going. When you reach the when you reach the T hanger right, and it'll take you right in to the new map area. Now to our right, right here, we do have a cave. We can go ahead. I'm gonna grab this cattail right now because I don't know how much food I've got on me. We got these cattails. There are cattails right here. If you're an interloper, it might be a little different. If you're trying to do the challenge, it might be a little different. But then again, if you're doing the challenge, you won't have uh, firearms anyway, because they have it's in interloper rules, so you won't have you won't have firearms. But we, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I think we're going to take a little rest. I'm going to make some coffee, and then we'll get on our way. All right, I'm just, I just drank, it's one of that one coffee, just so I, I could give me a little bit more energy. So we're going to head on out. We're actually probably going to uh, rest once we get to where we want to go. So, yeah, we're going to hang her right here at the T. We leave the ravine. It's super quick. It's super loud over here, too. Now we're at Bleak Inlet. This is the, the part that's up top. So we're going to go ahead and just walk on down this guy. This log is easy, the other one not so much. Like you might be able to get on this little branch here and like inch your way up. And then just shimmy on down this way. All right, then once you go down this way, once you get down past this log, go to the left. You might be able to swing around that other rock there. It might be easier. Go this way and right here. This way right here. Yeah, you can just go around that rock. It'd be fine. And then I'm going to go this way. Go right up this hill. I'm my guy's really super tired, so I'm not gonna be able to move any faster than this. Then I'm gonna work my way down to the bottom of this 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 hill here. It almost doesn't feel like it is as, like it's up top, but it is. I'm gonna go over into this cave right quick. We're gonna check out this cave because there's a cave right here. I didn't realize it was here. Last time I came through here, it was a blizzard. So I was actually lucky to be alive. Oh, are these brambles? Am I gonna have to cut my way through? I don't have a, oh, I have a knife on me. I think I might have to cut your way through here. Yeah, you do. I don't have a hatchet. Yeah, I don't have a hatchet, but looks like there are some materials here. Can I get through here this way? Oh, I can get through it. Oh, never mind. So what do we have here? Uh, water bottle, flare, backpack, bed. Excellent. I mean, I'm gonna. We're gonna stop at the watchtower and probably spend the night. So anyway, just continue this way and then go down the hill. You'll see the watchtower when you get there. There's really no missing it.
So as you're going down this way, the watchtower will be on the left-hand side up in here. But remember, you're on a bluff, so you, you really can't miss it. Because if you go to the left too far, it's a cliff. Go to the right too far, it's a cliff. There are wolves up in here, so be careful. I'm, I'm, I'm in Pilgrim, so it doesn't matter. He's going to run away. But in the inlet, there are also bears and there are moose. So I saw a moose the, or a while back. Now it looks like with an, yeah with another mountaineering rope. If you brought a second mountaineering rope, you can get down off of this bluff this way. There's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a mountaineering rock right there. So you should be able to get up off this bluff with another mountaineering rock and get down into the the, the uh, inlet proper. But I don't have one, so let's hope we find one, because I don't have one. All right, being as there's no place to sleep at the at the radio tower, I don't think there might be, but I don't think so. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stay here at the watchtower tonight because it's getting dark. But this is also where you find. Let me grab what's in here. So we have we have a supply bin here. That'll come in handy. Firewood. I think last time there was some coal. There is a stump remover that is right here. You're going to want that if you want to make gunpowder. That's one of the three things that you need. And we'll go into gunpowder later on. We're going up here. You're going to find a... Bearskin bedroll. Where is it? Is it not here today? All right. Well, I thought it was 100% chance. I guess it's not. It was sitting right here. If you're going to find it, it's going to be right here. The bearskin bedroll. So um, it's not here. This stuff will come in handy. There's also there's a practical gunsmithing book here. To improve your gunsmithing skill. I already have one. We're going to just close this up, guys. We're going to spend the night here. Uh, it's nice and toasty. Wonder if this is any good to eat. I've got food. They Last time I came, to, oh, there's a tea right here in case you're like, you need some, you need to get your condition back up a little bit. There's a couple of herbal tea that, uh, that's. I think that's persistent. All right, it's the next morning. We're going to go ahead and head on out, guys. Now just come down, go back the way you came, when you came up the hill here, and just continue to keep going the same way you did the day before. The radio tower is right there dead ahead of you. We actually need to go to the right here a little bit. To get down to the radio tower, go down to the left. Like I said, you're on a bluff. You're on a butte, so you're on a mesa top. Not a mesa top, really, but kind of a mesa top. The dead end road right there, so it didn't do you any good. The Coast Mountain Road, which is out. Actually, you can probably shimmy down that way now that I think about it, because I tried to get up that way, and I couldn't get up that way. We're going to try to get down that way here in a minute. So let's go ahead and head on in here. All right, a couple trucks. There's a car. I'm not going to loot them. You guys can loot them. Let's go across this bridge. It should be sturdy. Echo One Radio Tower. This is where you want to be. Uh, you know... All right, and here... You're going to find a bag of dusting sulfur. That's a, it's no, uh, chemical number two that you need. You also need charcoal. So get those three items in your inventory if you want to make gunpowder. Uh, you know what? I'll take Could this. Could end up being useful. Take a sewing kit. I'll get better boots. I'll wear, I'll wear better boots. That's fine. Combat boots, baby. I'm really not going to hang around with this character because... I'm just showing you guys where to do this. So if you go here and go to the right, right here on the this this desk right here is a communications report, and it says 
Request extraction, wolves everywhere, chased out by the, of the uh, out of the muskeg to the coast. All predator deterrence failed. No food left. Going back to check out the worksite down below Tower 12 for supplies. Use code 1540 to bypass security doors. Hurry. All right, Sector 12, tower failure, remote service for automated relay, stream predator threat, partner specialist 81926. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this. Item found. The communications report. We're going to take it. So, oh, this is a military code. I think I can use this. Oh, wear that. Heck yeah, I'll wear that. Yeah, baby. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of looting right quick, guys, and then we're going to go down there, and we're going to see if we can unlock that, that craft area. Okay. So this is all fenced off. I'm going to go this way. I don't think you can get out get down this way. The radio tower. Yeah, no, you can't. But that's where we're headed right there, guys. Is that cannery right there? Dead ahead. Now, let me wrap around here and see what we got. Now, you can't get out this way. But I think, if I remember right, I think you can get out this other way. If not, we're going to have to go all the way up, go through the muskeg, and go through the cave... And then come out that way, which I might want to show you that anyway, but that's one big old sun. So I think we can go all the way up to this side of the road here. I think I can get down this way. Pretty sure. Maybe. Oh, I hope. I hope. I hope. No, nope, maybe not. Wait, hang on. Right through here? Maybe. All right. No, it doesn't look like the game's going to let me. That's a shame. So what we'll do is I'm going to go back up to the tower, and I'm going to see if it's going to be even possible to shimmy down that rock face. Sometimes in this game you can shimmy down rock faces. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but we're going to give it a try. All right, this is the rock, but I don't know that it's even possible. I don't think it is. I, 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 I think I'm going to... Uh oh, did I get stuck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. How about over here? Uh, I'm thinking probably not. I probably would kill myself. So I think we're going to go back the way we came. I'm going to take the long way around, guys. We're going to go back up the way we came. So that's what I'm going to have to do. All right, so there's no way back down, I don't think, unless you have another 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 rope. So my suggestion would be to put that one rope down at the boxcar area and then go back and get a second rope and carry a second rope with you to make it easier on you to get down. I'm going to climb up this rope, middle of the night, and then we're going to probably rest again at the cave that's at the top for until the morning. And then we're going to head out and we're going to make it to the cave that comes out out of muskeg which will lead us to the to the inlet all right here's the rope wish me luck i think i could probably make it to the top but we're not going to try we're going to stop at the ledge and rest they put that ledge there for a reason, people. <laughs> All right, and up we go. Last leg of our journey. All right, cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and head over to the cave right quick. I'm probably going to crash out for a few more hours because it's nice and it's nice and warm in there, or it should be warm in there. With the aurora happening too. All right, it is morning time, guys. We're going to head on out. Head back to Mystery Lake. All right, and now what we have to do is we have to go all the way to the other side of the Mystery Lake map and go into the Muskeg map. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to, it's a straight shot. I'm going to bypass that. We're going to cut to the Muskeg, and then I'll meet you over there. All right, guys, we're leaving Mystery Lake right now. All guys, now that we've gone through the tunnel, we're going to go ahead and head on out here. We're going to go to the left. 
All right, guys, so come out of the tunnel and then go to the left here. We're looking for the antenna on the left. There's a couple antennas in Muskeg, but we want the one on the left. We're going to go past it, and then the cave will be right past it to the left there. You can see the antenna right in front of me, right up there, right above me. We're going to keep on keep, keeping on right here. All right, we're right below the antenna right now. Well, radio tower. I'm sure somebody's going to have to throw that in there. But, yeah, radio tower. Just keep on going on this way. Careful you don't fall in the water. Oh, man. Fell in the water. Too cold to think. Too cold to think. Too cool for school. There you go. That's what I should have done. <laughs> See, there's a big rock right there and a small rock right there. Go right past that small rock and hang a left. And the cave will be right in front of you. So you can see the antenna to your left. There's a little rock outcroppings there. There's a little bit of it. Oh, no, it's not reishi mushrooms. It's just a stump. But yeah, this, the cave's just right here, man. That guy sounds like he's gonna die. There are the Rishi mushrooms. So just slip right on in here. Make sure you have either a lantern or flares. Okay. Because you're gonna need it. I use a lantern. We're going to go left. All I've got on me right now are cattails, but there should be some food in here somewhere. If it's any good. Go underneath this log. I may have to lay my guy down and he may have to sleep for a minute. It's a long journey, guys, to get this, do get this done. I need to find a place to rest. I need to find a place to rest. All right. Now this is where you want to climb up. So we might act. Now you know what? We're gonna go ahead and rest. There's a bed back here. I can go ahead and rest right here. I'm gonna grab this flare. And but we, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna put this out. I'm gonna go ahead and rest for a couple of hours, right quick. My guy's pretty tired. Uh, we'll go for two hours. That'll be fine. I had some hypothermia risk, too, I need to get rid of. All right. Benefit well fed. Now, I'm going to sneak around the corner here. You guys may be able to see this to these branches where it says climb. We're going to climb up to the top of them. That way I don't have to light my light till I get to the top. <sighs> All right, now that we're at the top, then I'll go ahead and do this. thought there was food in here. Maybe there's not food in this one. I don't know if I need... I, did, I don't remember having to duck like this. I may have taken the wrong way. You can go, to front, you can go that way. I don't think you have to duck. Oh, maybe so. We're in the right cave, though. There it is. I think this cave. I think all the all the, I think all the tunnels go to the same spot. I'm pretty sure, which is out. But this is the way, so I'm going to go ahead and just put this out. I don't need it anymore. There we go. All right. Very cool. 
and now it's foggy as hell. But we are at the Bleak Inlet, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you get there. But it's a long way. You know what? It's a long way to to the workshop. So what? You can't see it because of the fog. But there is the tower is to my left. But we but we need to go to the right. Is there a dead wolf here? That's weird. Um, maybe a bear? Maybe a bear. We're in the frozen delta now, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to... This is just like the muskeg. You got to be... This is worse than the muskeg. You got to be super careful. Definitely don't. If you can't see the other side, you definitely don't want to mess with it. A lot of times on this on the side here, you may not be able to mess. You may may not want to mess with it. Don't and know why I feel so tired. Don't know why I feel so tired. Um, I'm not going to apologize for it because it's not my fault. But you know, I wish it wasn't foggy you guys if I wasn't so low on food I would I wouldn't worry about it I would just camp out till the fog went away but run 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 oh now I'm going to the right a little bit but you actually need it you we have to go around this water And I'm trying to save a little bit of time, but that could get me killed. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, 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 I almost fell in again. I think we're going to rest right here for a minute. For two hours. There we go. Now the fog's starting to lift. Oh, we came from over there, and we worked our way around here. So what we want to do... I'm just trying to make my way across before it gets dark. I think I need to lay down. Yeah, you do. Hello, Mr. Moose. You can go across this. It'll be fine. Oh, he's getting all riled now. And he runs away. <laughs> All right, so here we are. These are you know, once you've worked your way around that that edge there, you'll come. You should come across these trailers. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna chill and I'm gonna warm up at this trailer, and we're gonna continue on. In fact, you know what? I might spend the night here. Let's just spend the night here, and we'll make it to the workshop in the morning where you can actually see what, what, what the uh, technique that you gotta have to be able to get to that workshop. All right, it is morning time, morning time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get over that workshop so we can so we can unlock it, and start working our our magic. All right, we'll just go dead ahead out of the trailers. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but you see that tower right there? That cave is just like right there. Okay, that tall peak right there, it's right underneath it. So to say, it maybe it might be to the left a little bit more, but it's right in there. So we came across here and went to these trailers, and this is where we're going right here to the workshop. Now, if you are not on Pilgrim, if you are on a harder level and you, you get attacked by animals, make sure you show up here 
with plenty of flares, guys. With plenty of flares. Because if you don't, you're going to get eaten. Because there are there are wolves, timber wolves, mean ass timber wolves. Now flares will keep them at bay. There we go. There it is. There it is. There's the cannery. They will tear you up, man. All right. You know what? I'm gonna poke my head in this little watch tower here. Real quick. Wolves don't care about me right now, but they they will definitely care about you. Get out of my way, boys. There's like six of them in here. Between four and six. But as it says, wolves are scared of flares. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now there's a trailer in here. There's a body right here. Let's go ahead and grab this body. Last resort cannery. I'll be hungry later. Not for that, I won't. Actually, you know what? I can eat that right now. I just picked it up. I, I don't know if I can eat it or not. I probably should have. Whoops. I'll eat it. Even if I get food poisoning, it won't matter. Because I'm just doing this for the video. There's a lot of calories in that condensed milk. I don't think there's anything special in this trailer. Matter of fact, I just I don't think there's anything special, period, um, except for the workshop. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I mean, it's all random loot, right? So it so it might it might mean something to you. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I got combat boots. All right, so. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> All right, so. There should be a can of stump remover right here. In case you don't have one. It's been persistent every time I've come through here, so. And then. Underneath this, there are two, there are two, um, what do you call them? Uh, steamer trunks. I'm going to fall. Ow. I didn't mean to do that. There are two steamer trunks down here. There's all kinds of stuff. I'll take that thermal. We'll wear that thermal. It's funny how it's sitting in the snow, but it's not frozen, but my other stuff is frozen. And all right, there's that. I don't need the sports socks. It's pretty cold out here, but I'm not gonna worry about it too awful much. I have to go back around. Actually, you know what? I can go. I can go back around this way. Get out of here, boys. Go on, puppies. They will tear you up, though. All right, so back at the camper, well, the trailer. Anyway, there is... If you have a crowbar on you, there's a couple of, a couple of lockers in here. I'm going to grab that lantern fuel. Um, there's two lockers in here. Sometimes they're locked, sometimes they're not. It's, it's random. I don't think I can get up this way. I can't. You have to go around the other way. There is a safe right here. If you have a flare going and you're quick, you can get this safe open. The safe doesn't matter. Um, I think it's random stuff like any other safe. Okay, we'll open her up. This stuff will come in. Cash. Here. Revolver ammunition. And last time for me, it was a book. Cardboard matches on top of there. Um, yeah, so it, it's random. You can't get across here until you get up and you get around. So you actually have to go. Oh, wait. Is it, where is it? So what do I do? I come over here. 
And there's a rope right there. Now you can, let's see, what do we got over here? And we've got a drawer here with... I could use this. Or, well, it's random loot. So this is random loot here. We got a box right here. Rando. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. And I think that's it here. Then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll climb up the the mountaineering rope. Go over here. And there's this can of sorry. So technician's notebook says, "Wolves won't let up. I, I I put up a track to get above them, but they won't leave." Most food here is spoiled. Gonna try and ring, rig something up in that old cannery workshop, but I'm starving. I'm staring down a deep hole down here, guys. Can only hope you can reach me soon. Just leave this. I'll just leave this here just in case it, go, it gets even worse. And it did. It did. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Um, now I don't really need it, but. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Most of the cannery stuff here is gonna be spoiled, but you, if you know the game, you know you can you can eat it right away. So if you're starving to death, go ahead and eat it. It's fine. It should be fine anyway. I, I don't think I've ever gotten sick if I've eaten it right away when I picked it up. All right, so, but you have to come all the way over here to get all the way over there. I know it, it's, it seems counterintuitive, right? To get over there to those buildings over there, you have to come over here and you have to come up this rope. And once you do, then you go over here and you have to jump down on top of this, this boat. Is it food or? Or, then go over here. You can't get up this ladder, by the way. And then jump across here. You need a scarf. There's a scarf right there. There's a hammer right here, by the way. Um, you're going to be forging stuff. I don't know if that's persistent or not. We'll go over this building right here. By the way, at this point, the dogs can't get to you. I if I can drop any of this gear. The dogs can't get to you, so and then we go up these stairs. I don't think there's any... Wait, wait, what is that? Scrap metal? I'll take it. Why not? I'm almost where I need to be anyway. You go through here. And if you, there might, you might find something in here you could use. Maybe. Anyway, go up here. Hang a left, go this way. Go across here. Like I said, the wolves can't get to you at this point unless you fall. Ah. I would have a I would have a uh, a flare ready to go. Go down here, ah. go over here, go up here, and go across this one. Yeah, go across this one. I don't think there's anything over here. Right, well, then you go across here, over here, go all the way to the end of this one, and then plop down on that. And to go right, check this container, take those matches, then title up this way, and then go over this way, and this way. Well, I guess you could go that way, and then drop down down here, check this box. Mm. Okay. Then go over here and drop down here. Then ah. get up on top of this. <laughs> then over here. Go up this ramp. And now you're in the building that you couldn't get into before up top. You couldn't get up top before. So, um, can we go this way? And there's some more dusting sulfur. You're gonna want that. I think that's persistent. This will come in. Emergency handy. stem. Yeah, boy. Go across here like this. You know, I'll drink that right now, cause I want to. Check this box. 
Go down here and get this backpack. Thank goodness. Go over here. I'm full of stuff right now, but that's because I don't know how long I'm going to stay in the workshop for. So all the material I can get my hands on. Uh, get this container here. Wonder if this is any brand new beef eat. jerky. Go down here, like so. Grab this, and go right here. And there's no way you can't. The wolves won't get you here. You're you're pretty you're can't good. Feel my feet. Unless you fall, you're 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 pretty set. Because you're above it all. And that's how you get. To, I mean, you have to go all. This is a whole long thing. And remember, we went and we got. Oh, here's a flare. We went and we got the code. Right? We got the code. Now you can start. If you have to hang out, you can you start a fire right here. Because I don't know if this code's going to work without the aurora. It's not going to. So now we have to wait until it gets dark. And now I'm almost freezing to death. But I don't want to go through all that rigmarole anymore. So it is, it's midday. So I mean, it's, I've got a while. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use my hammer to break this down. I'm, I'm going to be freezing in a minute. And then I'm going to do this again. That's another hour. Just wasting time. So they give you firewood right here. If you can break it down. The planks right here you can break down. I'm losing my condition, but I don't care. We're going to start this up. I have some accelerant. We're going to make that happen. That should help warm things up. And we'll just tack on all this stuff. I don't know how long we're going to be here. Who knows? Nine hours? It'll keep me warm for nine hours. We can, like, chill out and go to bed until the aurora happens. Break that down. Break this one down. If you try to come in here and do this, it'll beep at you. It'll tell you you don't have the code, but I have the code now. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay down. We're going to get warmed up. Chill out. Uh, sleep for three hours. It's still not dark yet, so sleep for three more hours. The aurora doesn't happen until like late night, maybe midnight. I think it's midnight. Hey, okay, it's red. The aurora's here. Let me pick this up. There we go. Open the door, baby, and we're inside the workshop. Woo! All right, so now that the door is open, now I'm just going to chill out until, until it gets light so we can see what's up. I got four hours. Um, oh, it's just now midnight. You know what? Let's add all of our fuel. You know, it's seven hours. That's, that, that'll be more than enough. And we'll check it out in the daylight. Actually, you know what? I just realized that the aurora is happening. Too heavy. Okay, now we're all lit up. Oh, okay. Well, guess what? Watch out for those suckers. They're no joke. Yeah, I probably don't want to be walking around here during the aurora. Look, there's a lot of wires here. But it looks like there's only a couple of them that are... That are frying, but you know what? You're probably gonna have to do this. Yeah, while the um, you're gonna have to use the milling machine while this is happening. The workbench says that's why I need a bullet, a rifle casing, and gunpowder. Revolver car, same thing. A bullet. I need scrap lead. Now to get scrap lead, you're gonna there's cars over on the bridge. Bring a hacksaw because that's what it takes to break down. 
your, um, what you call it, your batteries. You're gonna take the batteries and you're gonna break them down. You're gonna get six lead out of out of one of those um, batteries. So you're gonna get 36 bullets out of one battery. You get because six bullet heads, and there's six lead in one battery, so that, that equals 36. Should be. Gunpowder. The only thing I'm missing is charcoal. I have stump remover. I have this dusting powder. And all I need is charcoal. I didn't get any charcoal. But I bet you I can pull some out of the... Um, I bet you I can pull it out of the, the thingamabob. The barrel. Bring it out of the barrel. Uh, oh. Is that maybe I have to wait till it till it goes out or something. Yeah, I gotta wait till it goes out. But anyway, yeah, you can make your charcoal right there. If you've already got your dust and powder, you know, it's not a big deal. What's in here? What's that? There's your pry bar right there. I assume that once you get the door open, it's gonna stay open. I don't I don't I don't I don't know why you'd have to unlock it again. But it looks like this is warm in here. Probably because of the electricity. See what else we got in here? Is there a bed in here? There's, okay, there's a faucet. What do we got? Tennis. I can always use more food. All right. Water. What's in the fridge? Nothing. It's going to be random. Moldy venison. Crackers, I'll take those crackers. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Little energy bar action, cool. Stim, nice. Toilet has water in it. Very little, but it does have some. I imagine by the time you get in here, you're going to be pretty desperate. There's t sardines I'll take. Marine flare will take. Got some locker action happening over here. This is good. This is actually really good. This stuff will come in handy. Insulated boots. Right, the lights just went out, guys. But the, the electrical is still, is still frying. Lights just went out, guys, but this uh, this electrical is still still going, so. There's a lot of stuff in here. I, I found a, a bunch of boots. I found some gloves, work gloves. So, yeah, it's, it's, um. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, I can sharpen. That's right. You can repair your stuff. I have the scrap metal. I can repair my hunting knife. Okay, it's, wait. The aurora just ended. <laughs> I gotta wait till the next night. I forgot you can actually repair your uh, your 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 tools. So even if it's they're worn all the way down, you can repair them all the way, which is really nice. So yeah, guys, I'm super excited about this brand new edition. This is really cool, and it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit difficult to get in here. Oh, there, there's a fire barrel right here. I can take the charcoal right there. How many I get? Just one. Oh, there's the hacksaw you need I right there, this. boy. I was just talking about you needed a hacksaw for batteries. It has a hacksaw here. So if you don't have a hacksaw on you, it looks like you... I don't know if it's a permanent thing. I mean, there's some more um, There's some more dusting flour or sulfur. Dusting flour. What's this? Oh, flashlight. Cool. Yeah, this was a functional workshop. I can workshop. walk with this much gear. I know, man. Isn't it great? All right. So, hey, I'm, I'm just going around this last little bit. I am way overburdened, though. There's another barrel. Look at there. There's another mountaineering rope. I got some sardines over here on the table. Looks like they're all spoiled pretty much. But you know the deal. Oh, no, it's not another barrel. Okay, so. All right. So, yeah, I think that's about it over here, guys. Anyway, so there you I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is how you get into the workshop and what, what it takes to craft the, uh, the ammunition. So, 
Hopefully you guys got something out of that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.